Day 23, Slocum in the morning on Will County's News Talk Sports 1340 WJ. Well, it's Friday morning. I'd like to welcome into our WJ Well Studios Mark Cassidy. Mark is the business manager for Westside Children's Therapy. They have a location in Frankfurt that's been around for a while. They've been here in Joliet also, but a brand new, bigger, better location is open for business at 750 Essington Road in Joliet. As a matter of fact, it opened up uh, about a week and a day ago. Mark, good morning. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thanks a lot for having me. All right. Well, we want to let everybody know about your facility. Again, you, you've been around for a little bit, but you needed more space, right? Yeah, that is correct. Uh, we've seen a tremendous amount of growth in the last few years, and uh, we had a small 2,000 square foot facility on Essington Road, and we just outgrew it. And uh, this is our effort to kind of bring everybody back in one house and have a much more spacious area for treatment. That's great. So, who do you serve? Now, it's obviously for kids, for uh, for children. Hence the name, you know, Westside Children's Therapy. So, what what kind of clients do you have? Yeah, we have a wide variety of clients, and that's. Partly just because we are a multidisciplinary clinic. You know, we offer physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, uh, ABA, uh, which is like behavior therapy, feeding, uh, neurofeedback. And and so we have all these disciplines and each discipline kind of brings in a unique clientele uh, that has a variety of different needs. So you see things from, you know, children who have, uh, you know, physical disabilities or communication delays, uh, children on the autism spectrum. Uh, so you, you, do, you see a wide variety of different clients, and, and they typically range uh, 0 to 18, with a, you know, the majority being like 0 to 12-year-olds. Interesting. And, and kids also who don't have any physical problems or mental problems, but just maybe are injured. Uh, we get some of that. It's okay. actually, we, we, we do see quite more, uh, quite a bit more of the chronic conditions. Okay. So, uh, you know, if you look at the physical therapy sampling, for example, you'll have you know, a kid with cerebral palsy who might be at our clinic. We have some that started off as infants and now they're in their, you know, their thirties and they're still coming here. Uh, so it's one of those types of relationships where, you know, it's not something that's ever going to go away. It's something that we have to work with and maintain and, uh, and make sure that we're like, you know, not, you know, having kids regress. Right. Um, so a lot of the conditions, conditions we see are more chronic. Uh, same goes with, you know, some of the, the kids on the autism spectrum where, you know, they're going to be there for a high volume of hours a week and that could last, you know, several years uh, for treatment. What's interesting, too, is you have a, a large open area, but you also have private treatment rooms for appointments that require more privacy. Yeah, absolutely. So if you look at some of the disciplines like speech therapy, for example, or uh, a new patient, uh, let's say for physical therapy, who might not want to have their evaluation done in the open public you mm-hmm. know, gym area. We do have six private rooms. Uh, we see a large demand after school hours, and so that's a time where we need to have a high volume of, of rooms just to make sure if we, you know, we have three or four speech therapists in there at four o'clock that they each have their own space to provide therapy. Uh, it's very hard to do those types of therapies when you're in an open setting and there's a lot of background noise. Sure. So it's just ultimately, you know, improves the, the quality of therapy that, we, therapy that we can provide. So literally, you cover all the bases. Literally. Yes. Which we, is great. That's, yeah, that's our approach. We used to have a couple different clinics that offered different services mm-hmm. in different buildings, but now we have brought them all under one roof in a bigger facility, and that's for that primary purpose of making sure that families who need multiple services don't have to be driving to multiple clinics. Right. They can come to one place. We can schedule things back to back. We could have therapists collaborating uh, you know, work who are work with work with the same kid across disciplines. It's just a much better experience. But it's a great vibe in there. It is a really fun vibe. Yeah, but it is. Good. Kids are showing progress. They get excited. Their therapist gets excited. Their parents get excited. Oh, absolutely. The a lot of the therapists we hire. You know, you talk about why they come into pediatric therapy. That's one of the primary yeah. reasons they really appreciate the growth that kids can demonstrate. And there's a lot of curiosity from kids. These kids have crazy imaginations and yeah. uh, personalities that are, you know, present every day that we're there. And so it is a very fun environment where you have a lot of people who share the same value of tr- caring about the growth of these kids. And then you have a lot of ki- these kids that just bring a fun energy and do. fun excitement. And uh, it definitely feels really good to be there every day. I have a, a special needs individual in my neighborhood and they're not able to leave to leave the home. So someone comes in. And they literally, they work with, they're walking with them. They'll be in like a kind of a cart where they're held up, but yet their mm-hmm. feet can still propel them. And I watch that, you know, the give and take between the caregiver and that individual. And I get chills every time I see it. I mean, you have to experience that every single day. Oh, absolutely. Uh, the patients that we see, you know, we, we talk about our values as a company. And one of them is the relationships that we form with yeah. families and, and truly being a family. And that's 
surely a consequence of the fact that we see these kids every week, sometimes multiple times a week for years on end. And you literally see these kids more than your own you right. know, distant family sometimes. <laughs> so you have to treat them that way. It's that, it, it definitely fosters, fosters that kind of relationship with your patients. Mark Cassidy is here from the Westside Children's Therapy location at 750 Essington Road, Black and Essington. Uh, this opened up, the, the new ex- bigger location opened up. They also have a facility that's been in Frankfurt for several years. Uh, you guys have been operating since the early 2000s. You have over 250 families that are part of your family. You also have, and that's one of the reasons you moved into this bigger facility is you have three therapy gyms kind of describe what those are like because there's some really cool stuff like a zip line and a ball pit and things. <laughs> yeah we we have three gyms the first is the sensory gym that's the the biggest and most exciting it does have a zip line it has a jumping ledge and ball pit uh, trampolines scattered throughout monkey bars it is like a kid's paradise the kids <laughs> come in there and it's sometimes it kind of bites us in the foot because if you have to walk by that gym to go do another therapy kids are just racing to try to go into the fun gym. I want to do that. <laughs> exactly. Uh, and then we have another gym, which is focused on our physical therapy discipline. So it has mat tables uh, and it provides a space for our physical therapists, you know, to not have you know physical therapy going on, which can be more strenuous with the other gym present. Uh, Cause again, you'd have those kids wanting to race in there. Right. Uh, and then we have our ABA discipline uh, that has its own separate gym as well. And, and ABA is a unique discipline of ours. It has its own needs and just you know, it kind of aligns with having its own space needs as well. And so those kids who receive those therapies also have their own separate area to receive treatment. Mark, you accept insurance and private pay as well? Yes, we do. Okay, you do both. And um, there's all kinds of information they can get. Website, phone number, contact information. If people hear this today and they go, this sounds like something we want to really be involved in. Because, again, it, it's 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 all about taking your son or daughter or your loved one or your, your friend or your neighbor to a facility has a lot of energy, especially with kids that are in this situation. It really will help their progress. Yeah, and we offer free screenings, 30-minute uh, okay. assessments. You can come in at any time. Uh, you can go to our website or Facebook page to get the phone number. Uh, we schedule those very frequently. Uh, but that's always like a good way if you're just curious. Oh, I want to see if, if my child is on pace with their development that's good idea. Uh, or in, across all the disciplines, too. So if you ever have any concern like that, we're happy, you know, free of charge just to come in and, and get that assessed. Absolutely. OK, that's Westside Children's Therapy. Mark, nice seeing you again. Thanks for coming yeah, in. Congratulations on the new facility. Thank you very much. You bet. Take 31. Allie Larson's in the newsroom. She brings you Joliet and Will County's early morning news. We do have new information regarding the Rialto Square Theater. We addressed a rumor this morning on 1340 WJOL that the Rialto has a monster payment that's due that could sink the theater. Well, we've heard otherwise from our sources. We'll have that story for you coming up in a bit. This is WJOL. Whether you're an avid traveler or simply live an active lifestyle, Mars Medical.